A day 17. You're recording. Hi everybody, 17th of November, second month anniversary of Occupy Wall Street. And let me reiterate again, we're not against the Wall Street. I'm talking about myself specifically, especially I am against cronies of Wall Street and the thugs and the crooks in Wall Street. I like capitalism. Now, yesterday I missed out, nobody was here anyway. Today I watch live stream from morning. It is very well organized. The two, three live streams were going on, showing what's going on. And people are getting arrested. I heard on WABC 99 people who had 99% t-shirts wanted to go to the bridge and they got arrested. And uh, they said they wish to get arrested and they got their uh, they got their wish. I think it was ridiculous. For me as an emergency nurse, I have a gut feeling that the uh, mass communication or the major networks, the way they are behaving. Uh, actually, they are in a clinic of death. They, uh, I would, I would uh, uh, prescribe epinephrine and CPR and give a defibrillator to, to, to see if we can you know, save them. But uh, actually, they are way back in their thinking what's going on. This is taking over. Uh, people don't understand this is affecting everybody, affecting conservative like me, affecting educated people with a couple of degrees, affecting students, affecting graduates, affecting punks, affecting bombs, affecting everybody. Don't you get it? This is Zuccotti Park. Tony, can you show me the way we're going on? So, this looks good, it's nice, people playing a little guitar, giving each other a little piece of cake, and uh, some are uh, recording their professional cameras. Uh, I found my, uh, my friend, uh, security guard Tony today, I was happy to see him and I asked what happened, wow, well, he was evicted, and this uh, street vendor already remembers me and the frog, and he's asking, where is the frog, he's missing the frog, I said, maybe he will come another day, so uh, it's, a, it's a nice environment, uh, it's been tumultuous days for a couple of days for people, uh, I want to address to Michael Bloomberg, Mr. Mayor, when people are not here, they're home, and their hearts and minds are with these people. I don't want you to be taking all the people work for you, telling you what to do. Uh, please be on the right side of history. Please come and see what's going on by thinking and talking so high above there you are in your position, you really don't get the feeling how people feel and how lives are. Let me give you one small example to make it really, you know, real uh, in life. 1994, I was new, my English was much worse, and I was working on two retail jobs, and they were 7 50 and I got another one, $8 an hour. This was 17 years ago. If I go apply right now to retail jobs, which I did, they still pay $8 an hour and they won't take me because I'm older. They want whatever, you know, teenagers, okay? Now, when the rent's gone up four times last 17 years, the wages are the same. That's how bad it is. Started with NAFTA, who outsourced American jobs. Started wages over law, law, law. So the, the lower class, who is perpetrated by Democrat and liberal policies of keeping them in a permanent poverty, are drowning. And the riches are the rich becoming a cronies. And the corruption is running a rampant. In the middle, people can't survive anymore. We are destroying middle class. So um, I will be uh, following the, the events on live stream, which is livestream.com, Occupy NYC, and Global Revolution. I have my own live stream, which is livestream.com slash love counts most, but I'm not streaming yet unless they connect and they need me. So um, 
peace to everybody. In general assembly is still going on. Lots of police present, lots of, I don't know, these are maintenance crews. I talked to a policeman. I said that he smiled to me, he said hello. I said, I used to be an auxiliary. Are you behaving yourself? And he said, I always was behaving. <laughs> I said, I'm good. I said, I you make sure you behave yourself. Don't be up to your fellow citizens. He said, no, ma'am. I'm good. I am behaving. I said, okay, God bless. Thank you for your service. We're not against the NYPD. We are against corruption. NYPD are lazy, stupid bums. Some of them are lazy, stupid bums that should have wear a uniform and have a gun. And I can have my stories to tell you, Mr. Bloomberg, if you want to hear. 